Well, hello, my horde. Um, so here we are in my tiny, tiny kitchen. Um, <laughs> Cause today I'm just doing like a little bit of a weird little vloggy thing. Um, we are on the kitchen because I am going to be baking today. Um, cookies or food crimes, you decide. Cause uh, what I, what I want to try to do is something of an Easter s'more. So I have here, I have um, nice spring colored M&M's, they're those beautiful pastel M&M's. Um, same old regular M&M, no flavor though. And I do have a couple of packages of peeps. Um, it would surprise everyone to know that I do not <laughs> like to eat peeps. I do have an act where I do in fact eat peeps on stage. Um, I try usually to throw most of the peeps to the audience though because I do not want to eat more of these than I have to. But um, like a marshmallows in a cookie, like marshmallow and chocolate in a cookie, like a s'more cookie is really good. Um, I don't know if they do them anymore but Pillsbury I think did for a while the like pre-made stuffed cookies and they were like stuffed s'more cookies with a little marshmallow on the inside and those were really good and I've been thinking about them a lot lately and I've been wondering what it would be like <laughs> if you cut up the peeps and you put them in the cookies um, maybe not necessarily inside but maybe uh, I saw one recipe online where someone legit they got a tube of pre-made cookie dough and they just surrounded the entire peep with cookie dough. And I'm like, that's too much peep. That's like, it's, it, these marshmallows are too big to be on the inside. So we're, um, if we were to, if we're doing any um, of that type, we'll be decapitating them for sure. Um, and using the little butts. Um, and then like chopping their heads up and throwing the heads into a different uh, style of cookie. Not so much like a stuffed cookie, but just a junk in a cookie, regular cookie. Yeah. Uh, and I also have this uh, Funfetti mix, um, just the, the powdered mix. All you need, all you need for this is butter and water. These are, I love these. Um, my, <laughs> my other cookies I am going to be making from scratch. This is however not a tutorial um and then just to mention because i don't know they might pop up i do have some reese's eggs here because i know that like sticking a reese's on top of a cookie is also kind of yummy but i'm not really sure how many cookies i'm gonna make i have enough supplies for two batches but i do think that i am going to lose steam especially if i also do like attempt to do two batches from scratch and the funfetti stuff um I want to take these to my coworkers uh, because tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, is, um, it's not my last day at work, but it is the last day I will be at work when most of my coworkers are also at work um, because they like all have Wednesdays off. Uh, so Wednesday is my last day, unless something miraculous happens. Um, it's just the end of my seasonal contract. Um, I didn't quit. I haven't been fired. Um, it's all very amicable and I am planning to come back as soon as they let me, but as a seasonal employee, I cannot have another seasonal position for 90 days after the end of my contract. Um, which makes sense because, you know, seasonal. We don't want you here all year. You're just seasonal. We don't need you all year. Um, they <laughs> do need me all year though. Um, and hopefully, uh, I, like, hopefully things will work out and I'll actually be able to come back sooner because I will be coming back not as a seasonal employee. Um, but that's all up in the air. So as of right now, as far as I know, Wednesday is my last day at, uh, at this job and, um, I want to take in cookies tomorrow. And I guess I just decided to babble out of camera about it. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, this is not a tutorial. Um, I'm not doing like a how to bake cookies. There's, that's already all over the internet. Um, I, have, I have my little cookie recipe hanging up up here. Um, I, I would that I had written down whatever website I took this exact recipe from like three years ago, two or three years ago when I, you know, wrote it down and this is my cookie recipe forever. Um, but 
there's lots of good stuff on the internet. You know, I assume, like, Sorted has one, and I assume, you know, there's a lot of cooking channels. I can't think of them right now. <laughs> but, um, like, if you need a video tutorial, there's probably plenty of those, and then there's just tons and tons of food blogs. Um, you can scroll through someone's life story and then finally find the cookie recipe. Uh, that's the joke. Uh, it's true, though. <laughs> Even, I was even looking up recipes for like Peeps cookies, like just to make sure I wasn't co totally off mark with what I wanted to do. And even those were like, oh, blah blah blah, Easter blah blah blah. <laughs> it's just like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, we're just gonna pop in and out of this process a little bit, just whatever kind of seems interesting. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. And I'm going to keep drinking my coffee, though. I have not preset the oven. 375. Okay. And I've had my butter out to soften for a little while. Um, I have some stick butter that I'm using, and it needs to be soft. <laughs> that is sitting out on the counter, softening. So I think I'm ready. All right. Okay, I have my dries mixed off to the side here. And it is uh, time to beat my softened butter, which I left this <laughs> bowl on top of the oven while it's been hot. And uh, just to get extra softened going on here. And this is, this is my like least favorite part <laughs> of making cookies because I like, I used to hand cream my butter but that sucked but also the noise <laughs> that a mixer makes is also awful also it's a hand mixer instead of a stand mixer and a stand mixer would be great but you saw the size of my kitchen that shot was basically my entire kitchen also you can see my entire kitchen in the background of every one of my videos pretty much uh here we go it's always a mess Ridiculous. All right. I just like need a deeper bowl, I guess. <laughs> Good lord. Let me just mash this for a moment first. I really did get this soft though, so that's good. Sometimes I'm like trying to cream my butter and it's still too hard. <laughs> And that sucks. <laughs> Probably should have done this reverse. I should be doing this in the plastic bowl and the glass bowl should have had the dries. <laughs> well, I hope I don't get butter on my camera. <laughs> it seems like the kind of thing that would happen. Okay, I think I'm in a good place with the butter, so now I start adding the sugars and I'm gonna start with the granulated white sugar and we're just gonna kind of do this, I don't know, a guesstimation amount at a time. <laughs> We're making springtime cookies, so blue spatula seems appropriate. <laughs> Not that I have a uh, blue spatula and Halloween spatula are <laughs> my two choices. Yeah, definitely music over those beating sections. Oh, right. It's time for my brown sugar, so I have to go pack a cup of light brown sugar. All right, I have my light brown sugar. Um, and in case, like, this is a factoid you just didn't know, the, the brown sugar is actually the difference between just a regular sugar cookie and a chocolate chip cookie. So essentially, like, a, a chocolate chip cookie is just a brown sugar cookie. And in fact, sometimes, um, so my husband doesn't really care for sweets, but he'll eat, like, a chocolate chipless chocolate chip cookie, <laughs> so a brown sugar cookie. So I actually make brown sugar cookies. Sometimes I just gotta get in there with some good old elbow grease. So 
This does seem fairly incorporated. I'm gonna double check my recipe, but I think the next thing is an egg. Or two eggs. <laughs> yes. Okay. almost forgot vanilla extract. Okay, so the next step is to start adding in our dry ingredients, and I find that this uh, really <laughs> ends up getting to be too much for the hand mixer very quickly. Um, it's just not really equipped once this starts actually becoming a dough, um, and sometimes I end up just having to go in with my hands. So that is why I have already cleaned off the hand mixer. <laughs> Put it away. Well, not put it all the way away, but I did clean it. Ah! Okay, so I actually have my cookie dough in the fridge while uh, I'm gonna murder some peeps. Um, I have our nice spring mix M&Ms. This might be way too many M&Ms. You know what? It is. It's one too many. I'm eating that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna do some experiments here. Uh, I want to get both blue and pink peeps in on this party. I'm gonna have to find a container because I'm not gonna use all of these, especially since I want to use both colors. actually want. Does that seem too big to go inside a cookie? It almost does to like be wrapped around a whole cookie or have a whole cookie wrapped around it. But we're gonna try one or two of those because why not? But the rest of these, they're just getting uh... Okay, yep, there it is. It will not get off <laughs> my fingers. Okay, there are two bunny butts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just do the two, I think. The two stuffed cookies. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that much of these peeps at all. Eek. It's so freaking sticky. Okay. And then some pink peeps. I don't know why I think the color matters, but I feel like the color matters. They're not differently flavored, and I can confirm that they do not taste different. <laughs> once again, I've eaten more peeps than I actually have ever wanted to. Open! I <laughs> can't get to the other side. There we go. Mm. Okay. This is more of a struggle than I was expecting it to be. I should have washed my hands in between. The pink are super contaminated with blue sugar now. It's all just gonna, yeah, it's probably all just gonna mix in an unsettling way. <laughs> We're gonna find out though. It just sounds like dirt. <laughs> that's just what granulated things sound like. Kind of like beach sand. Like there's still like I'm rubbing my hands in beach sand. Okay, that seems like plenty. There might be a little more blue than pink. Uh, I don't care. That's, that's it, I'm done. I used five peeps total. 
That's amazing. All right. Anyway, this is our this is our mix-ins mixture. I'm gonna wash my hands <laughs> before I can even turn off the camera. And then, uh, cookie dough time. C cookies time. Okay, so what I have done here is I have actually split my cookie dough into about half and half. The other half is still in the fridge um, because I do have other intentions. I don't want it to all be peep s'mores. Um, <laughs> and I'm realizing now that I should have kept the M&Ms and the peep spits separate. Um, I think I can accomplish this because I want to not have the extra peep spits in the in the like two stuffed cookies. And I mean, if they turn out good, I can always make more because I, as you saw, I have a crud ton of peeps. All right. And don't worry, I have washed my hands like 40 different times throughout this process. I swear I'm not gross. I'm just also not like showing me washing my hands because that's weird. Probably someone's fetish, but not mine. Okay. Yeah. I was a little bit worried it was going to be like too much mix-ins, but this seems super reasonable. Um, so, what I'm going to do is take a couple of balls, flatten them out. Dough is still very sticky. Oh, I didn't wash the sugar off, but that's fine because that peep is going inside there anyway, so it's not like a big deal. I'm gonna set that marshmallow there. Is that just barely off screen? Of course it is. I'll take a second piece here. We're just gonna mold this around. This is gonna be a giant, this is still gonna be a giant cookie. Like, I can't believe that whoever on the internet that I saw do the freaking peep stuffed cookies literally took a whole chick peep and stuffed it in a ball of cookie like this. Like, look how big this is gonna be. This is gonna be way too big. I'm glad I'm only making two of these. There's no freaking way. That's so ridiculous. I don't know, it just feels really ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I have a pan going over here. So I'm just gonna flop that on the pan. We're gonna... I'm trying to get like only a few M&Ms in these because I don't like too many is again gonna like, I feel like increase the size of the cookie in like not so good a way. Because essentially what we're going to have is like really thin cookie walls and then just a bunch of marshmallow. Yeah, I'm glad I decided on only two of those. I would absolutely have to make another batch if I wanted to make <laughs> very many of these. Alright, and then in with the rest of this travesty. Alright. Yeah, those peep bits are, they still seem too big. They still seem too big. I should have cut them up smaller. I don't know why I'm still trying to do this with a spatula. This is not going to happen. <laughs> this is, I am full on hands in the dough mode. It's too late. Uh, and the peeps are just like sticking to each other. They're not, maybe I should have done cold peeps. Um, that seems reasonable. I should have, should have had them in the fridge right until I was cutting them. Because that might have reduced some of the stickiness. So I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to actively, like, pick pieces into individual cookies here. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to see how these turn out. Woo! I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, no, I have some idea, like, a, you can make an educated guess on what's going to happen to the cookie, but it just seems, these seem so absurd, but I, I can't help but feel like they might actually be delicious in the end. I didn't put anything down on my pan. I wonder if that marshmallow is going to stick to the pan real bad. 
Whatever. We're gonna find out together. I really do think I'm gonna have to leave some of the Peeps pieces behind because there's just too much Peep to cookie dough. I don't... I just didn't estimate right. Okay, and I just want to show you what this first pan of Peeps s'mores <laughs> looks like before it goes into the oven. Um, and we, we're gonna see how this turns out. I'm really afraid that this is gonna stick to my pan really badly, um, but I only developed that fear after I started putting, putting cookies onto the pan. So, okay, um, eight to ten-ish minutes from now, we're gonna figure out what, what is up with these. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, I should have put foil down. Oh, no. These are not done. These are not done. Uh, two more minutes. I don't think I caught it on camera yet, but yeah, that um, the marshmallow is going to give me a problem. <laughs> I'm going to have to put foil down for the next round or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch pans. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, these are still quite hot. This is quite a dangerous shot here going on. But holy crap! <laughs> There's so much burnt marshmallow. I uh, I went ahead and set up the next round of cookies uh, on <laughs> with another pan with aluminum foil because these are. I'm gonna have to let these like cool a little bit to like be able to properly pry them off and I just this is a disaster <laughs> I <laughs> I think we can agree that whether or not these taste any good they're still a food crime because it looks like a food crime <laughs> cooling rack so I just have this tray that I have the cookies on um, and I am going to while these are maybe still a little bit warm uh, try one of these supposedly stuffed cookies um, I don't know that I would describe this anymore as a stuffed cookie because uh, the filling is just has it's just sort of in the center, but not encased. Um, <laughs> not as just bite a normal cookie. This is, it's mostly normal cookie. <laughs> the m and is good. And we've got an m and in there. Honestly, this peep goo in the center is not that bad. It is wholly unlike a peep. It's just like a very, it's just like a very gooey cookie. Ah. <laughs> like, there's a, a slight texture of marshmallow, but there are, I wouldn't really say I can taste the marshmallow that hard. It's just a little extra sugary. It was not the worst idea I've ever had. It was poorly executed. <laughs> Probably the dough should have been much colder um, to help sort of keep it from spreading out quite so much. And I wish I had sort of made the cookies a little bit smaller in general. I mean, these, there was no way. There was no way to make these smaller, but I, I think if the dough had just been colder, maybe. Eh. Yeah, that was marshmallow stuck to my face. So like, I think if I was gonna try to make the stuffed cookies again, 
once I made the balls, I would put them like in the freezer for five minutes or like in the fridge for a little while or whatever, um, try to get them like cold so they kind of don't get quite as flat because I think that's the key. I might be wrong. I think the key is like colder cookie dough doesn't just like expand quite so far. And I think that might help overall with all of these. Because if your cookie dough is like already really soft and like kind of melting on the pan before you even put it in, like of course it's just gonna like expand and goo over. Um, or in my experience anyway. <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing though, clearly. It's a cookie. I don't hate it. I even like it. <laughs> but like I said, um, most of this is just a normal cookie. Um, there was just, you know, extra sugar in the center. Not particularly, it's not like giving me that like s'mores feel. Or even the, um, the like s'mores stuffed cookie that I like specifically was thinking of going into this at all, but it's good. Okay, so I'm moving on to the second half of my cookie dough, which has been in the fridge, so I wonder if this will just like, if these won't spread out as much as the other ones. Um, but the plan is some of them are gonna remain plain, and some of them are just gonna get, <laughs> like once they come out, they're just gonna get a nice little Reese's egg on them. These are just like nice, simple cookies. <laughs> We're gonna go kind of smallish with them too, because I just don't think I need giant cookies like the last ones turned out to be. I don't know if I mentioned it, I did get fresh tin foil. In they go. And I do just want to say, I went ahead and took the time to go ahead and unwrap my Reese's eggs. I'm just gonna slap that in the fridge for the six minutes that are left. Uh, so I can just go ahead and as soon as those come out just like flop those on so that bottom layer of chocolate will kind of melt and hopefully fuse the egg to the cookie properly. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Wow, it really seems like I don't know how to bake. I kind of know how to bake though. <laughs> oh my. grass nonsense to go around them, but I am not gonna do that. Certainly not now. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what those look like. <laughs> it's essentially the same kind of concept as when you, like, the cookies that they call Venus nipples. <laughs> you take the you take the Hershey's kiss and put it in the center, and so it kind of looks like a nipple. Except that, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's like that, but weirder. <laughs> and also, these have peanut butter, so they're awesome. Um. I'm gonna give it a second before I try to pull them up, hopefully, because there's still so much residual heat from the pan, I can see that these are getting very melty. Um, so I'd like to try to remove them from the heat as soon as possible. Oh boy. But uh, it takes a moment for them to like firm up enough for getting the spatula under them. Okay, I managed to get all of those onto my cooling tray. Um, I do think that they are going to cool into weird shapes. Um, the egg shape is not going to be retained. So once again, I just was too over eager. I think I probably could have waited, pulled all the cookies off and then put the eggs on. But you know what 
whatever. <laughs> They're still gonna taste fine. Um, I'm absolutely certain of that. Give a little washy. Oh, here we go. Washing my hands, actually. I said I wasn't gonna show that, but I don't think you can really see it anyway. <laughs> I'm just like overly cautious. I'm like, I'm gonna put my hands back into the dough. Make yet more wildly just not the same size cookies at all. Right, and these are gonna be my just like plain brown sugar cookies. And then I have to decide if I'm even still gonna make the sprinkle the funfetti cookies. Oof. like two o'clock. I think I started at like 11.30. <laughs> okay, so I have actually decided to not make the funfetti cookies right now. Um, I reserved the mic to make them later, but they won't be on film <laughs> if they do. I'm just tired. I have other tasks to get done today. Um, it always takes it out of me to like fail. <laughs> These Reese's cookies look stupid. <laughs> um, like I said though, they will be delicious. I have not eaten one yet. Um, I really need to eat some real food uh, <laughs> before I put any more sugar in my body uh, today. And I only had the one cookie. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm not continuing on, so this is the end of the video. Um, I've given <laughs> I've given a few words about what I think um, I could have done better, like where I think my mistakes happened today. There were many. Uh, they might have included just flipping the camera on at all <laughs> um, and deciding to make an insane cookie. Wow. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I hope that there were some fun moments, like, people failing on the internet is always kind of funny, and, <laughs> and uh, I, I clearly am in good spirits about it. My pan, actually, the, um, the melted marshmallow, I was really worried. I put the pan, like, in the sink right away, and I, not an ad, hashtag not an ad, I did put some... Dawn Power Spray on it, and it totally worked. Um, I would love... I, I don't know if it just would have worked for, like, with any soap, but I've been using the Power Wash for a while, and it's just, like, really... It's really good at getting stuff off. Um, and I don't know if it's the, like, foaming formula, uh, something about it is slightly different and it's a little better than just elbow, elbow grease, uh, sometimes a lot better. <laughs> so um, that that came off and I was afraid it was not going to come off. Um, you may have seen that there's already like some scorch marks and stuff on that really cute pink pan. I've only had it for like two years. Um, my goal is to have more pink pans and I just want them to not look so burnt but also I need to use them. so. Sometimes they're gonna look weird and burnt um, because you don't always use aluminum foil just when things are gonna stick real bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, luckily, uh, no, no damage actually done. Uh, and that is great. These cookies still look horrifying. Like, let me see if I can even pick this one up. Ugh, it's still... Hopefully these aren't like super undercooked in the middle. They're still so gooey, but they look cooked, so I don't know. But the just the the goo in the center, what is up with that? I'm not taking those to work because I think I would be a little embarrassed. But just a just a couple of little little uh, Reese's cookies should be good enough. Just I don't actually have that many coworkers, um, so that's plenty. Anyway. Yeah, that's that's the end of the video. We're we're done here today. Hopefully bits of this were quite entertaining. If you liked it, you can always <laughs> comment with uh, some kind of expression of how horrified you are that I even attempted this. 
because um, that seems like the only appropriate response. Uh, subscribe if you want to see when and if I ever do any crazy stuff. Oh, and here's the big thing I want to shout out. If I am, in fact, unemployed um, at the time that this video comes out, I am planning to stream Monday through fi Friday, <laughs> Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Um, I have a whole list of the things, like the games that I want to play, um, but I'm over there on Twitch, Labby Dragon, just like I am here, uh, trying to keep the brand consistent across the internet. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll do some Twitch streaming because I will be fully unemployed. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you can catch some of those. Um, I also will be archiving those streams uh, somewhere. I haven't decided to make a second channel to archive my live streams, but I do try to um, like, I cut off, like, <laughs> I just upload them as clips or whatever, uh, and that seems to be alright, uh, with, with Twitch for now, so there's, there's actually a couple, there's a, <laughs> it's so funny, there's, like, one of my earliest streams from, like, 2013, and there's that full stream, and then there's, like, a clip from last year, and then there's a, a video, a live stream that I did this year. Actually, no. Was it technically this year? Was it in January? I think it was January. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know. It might have technically been last year, but it felt like this year. Anyway, go, go ahead and go subscribe to me on Twitch too. Subscribe to me here. You'll find my nonsense everywhere. <laughs> I'm chronically online, um, and I will see you treasures next time.